Hello Robotics Notes fans, it is a blistering 83 degrees outside and I gotta turn my fan off to record this. Here I go turning it off. It is 11.39 a.m. My switch is at half battery because I the Somnium files came out while I was uh while I was a little busy. Let's play some robotics notes. And just like that, several days pass by since Akiho began her operational training. Final exams are already half over. I think it goes without saying how Akio and I have been faring in that front. Supplementary exams, huh? This sucks. After exams today, Akio once again hits the club room to train. She ends up spending hours at the work table. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, she hasn't improved at all. Akio was never dexterous to begin with. Misane's custom controls aren't something anyone can imitate. But I've known this since Sunday. Akichan, it's almost seven. How about calling it a day? Yeah. You seem really tired. Huh? Do I? You've got bags under your eyes. Crap, that's embarrassing. Her bashful expression is less spirited than usual. Akio takes a deep breath and puts the honorary present controller in the carrying case she found in storage. Akio's been taking Prez home every day to practice. Kai, or K, let's go home. How late have you been practicing? I say to her as she's locked in the club room door. Pretty much all night. You haven't been sleeping? It's no big deal. I've been taking hour long naps here and there. Oh, and during final exams, too. Wait, have you been submitting blank answer sheets? Aki-chan, when did you become such a badass? I'm not leaving it blank. Though I guess I don't know most of the answers. I've got no room to talk. I'm in the same situation as her. If you don't get a good night's sleep, your health is going to go down the drain. I'm fine. I'm still young. It'll work out. This has nothing to do with you being young and you know it. I get the feeling she's trying to dodge my concerns, so I grab Akio by the shoulders and stop her. Come on, you know you can't push yourself too hard, Aki-chan. Yeah, I know, but... I get why you're feeling pressed for time, I do, but I can't always be by your side. You need to learn how to take care of your own health. Sorry. Akio looks dejected as she offers up a sincere apology, but her face looks kind of pale. This isn't good. Better get to bed as soon as you get home. So you're not going to tell me to study? After reaching the parking lot, I turn to face Akio as usual. So, you feeling alright? I ask the usual question. Her usual answer doesn't come. Today is different. Akio weakly shakes her head back and forth, her face still pale. Doesn't take long for me to understand the situation. I immediately have Akiho sit down where she's standing. I can take you to the infirmary if you need me to. No, I'll be fine like this. She tries to force a smile, but her brow is covered in a glare of cold sweat. Akio puts her hand. Uh, bleh, Akio puts out her hand, and I hold onto it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> she tightly grasps it. For long, her ex face becomes expressionless. Her eyes are open, but she's not really there. She's not actually looking at anything. Her breathing gradually grows deeper and heavier. All the strength leaves her body as she slumps over. I hold her shoulders to support her. Phew. She's like the honorary prez when it runs out of power. I idly look up at the sky as I compare the two images in my head. 
Once this happens, it doesn't matter how much I call out to her, Akiho won't answer. But this is normal, she has attacks like this regularly. That said, it's rare for them to occur with such perfect timing. There's only one way to treat this, you have to wait till she gets better. After about five minutes, she'll naturally recover. Thus, there's no need to panic. I've seen her have these attacks for years now, so I understand how to deal with them. By that, I mostly mean holding on to Akiho and supporting her. It's all she needs, and all I can do for her. I let go of Akiho's hand and place it on the Fink stuffed toy hanging from her tablet at her wrist, at her waist. Then, she, still with a blank expression on her face, she starts to squeeze and fiddle with the toy in her hand. The little stuffed toy she always carries on her is the perfect size to fit in the palm of her hand. It's so dirty and colorless because she always squeezes it during attacks to remain conscious. That's right, Akio is still conscious. The only way I can really describe this condition is as an attack. At this very moment, while Akio is spending five minutes in reality, she's perceiving it as one second of time. I know that because these attacks aren't anything new. Plus, Akio always tells me about them afterwards. Five minutes of reality gets compressed into one second of perception. It feels like time is moving super fast for her. Meanwhile, for the people watching her, it's like she's moving in slow motion, like a zombie or something. Elephant Mouse Syndrome. That's the super scientific name that the doctors have given it, but Akio and I call it fast forward. Nice and simple. FF fast. <laughs> I, oops. It's short for fast forward. Wow, what a surprise. What a reveal. Oh my gosh. You know how video players have fast forward and rewind buttons? Sounds confusing blah, because of all the different perspectives, but we call it fast forward from Akio's view viewpoint. These attacks aren't something she was born with. What's this? Dun 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 dun. They're an after effect of an accident that happened eight years ago. Ever since that day, Akiho and I, we've been afflicted with these unpleasant attacks. They tend to occur after we put strain on our bodies. Things like staying up all night or exercising too hard. That's why I always tell her not to push herself. That's why I always ask her how she feels before she goes to drive before she drives her scooter. That's why I go off with her if she's heading to school even on off uh, even on days off. And that's why I'm a member of the robot club. If something happens to Akiho, I need to be there with her. Blah. Oh wait no, I read that right. I need to be there with her so I can look after her. And the same goes for me. My symptoms are a bit different from Akiho's, but I still have to deal with the same after effects. My attacks actually require proper nursing. So in that sense, you could say that Akio and I are both supporting each other. There's a reason why we're all blah. the reason we're always together at school isn't just because we're both in the robot club or childhood friends. It's so we can deal with these attacks when they happen without causing problems for other people. We love to get better ASAP, but there's no cure for our particular condition, so we've just gotta deal with it. Which means that in order to protect ourselves, the very least we can do is support each other. <laughs> Akio slowly moans, but doesn't form any words. The park is slowly being blank. The, the parking lot is slowly being blanketed in darkness. If something happened to run into, but if someone happened to run into us now, they'd probably think we're two lovebirds messing around. Anyhow, I call Akio's mother uh, and ask her to come pick her daughter up. The attacks only last about five minutes, but the numbness of the body lasts much longer. Long, longer. No second L. She shouldn't be driving. After the call, I have nothing to do but wait for Akio to recover. I take a look at her face. She has the expression of a knob mask. Empty eyes, slightly quivering lips. Sometimes she ends up drooling, so it's actually kind of a problem. There was one time where she totally soaked my shirt. Ugh. Jeez. This idiot. That's why I told her not to push herself so hard. She's already constantly rushing forward when it comes to the robot club. Now she wants to add Robo One on top of that. Fixing the honorary press, staying up all night to learn its complex control scheme. 
how he was that desperate to protect the robot club and make her dream a reality. Good grief. But I'm not blameless. I saw her walking that dangerous line and didn't warn her as much as I should have. Maybe I should have forced her to stop. Or should I have helped her more? I don't know. I don't know, but... Supporting each other, huh? Guess I have no choice. I sigh, straighten out my thoughts, and put out, pull out my phone droid to, time, to, to kill time playing Kill Ballad. The double kill got me, got me there. Kai Akio says my name. She posted a tweet? She, she tweet while she was, oh no, these are tweets from earlier. <laughs> I was about to say, she tweet while she had an attack? Slowly at first, then gradually faster, she blinks her eyes. Why do I always go during this? It is 11.50 a.m. And speaks again. Kai. Strength begins to return to Akiho's hand. She weakly grasps at mine. Guess it's been about five minutes. Are you okay now? Hmm. She looks like she hasn't recovered enough to stand yet. While leaning against my shoulder, she nods a little and then starts to slowly take deep breaths. She told me before that after an attack, she's so exhausted that she can't even walk. Called your mom, she'll be here soon. Yeah. Hope you learn your lesson from this and stop pushing yourself so hard. Yeah, sure. Seriously? That's your response? Hee ho. Then Kai, can you be the operator? What a low blow. Just really ask me that at a time like this? How unfair can you get? Fine. Huh? Akio opens her eyes wide. I didn't think you'd actually say yes. What about beating you in a match? And making a special exception just this once. I see. But thanks. You're a lifesaver. That said, I have one condition. Huh? What is it? Misane's control scheme is too much even for me. You're gonna have to reprogram it to play like Kill Ballad. Hmm. Huh? Akio cocks her head like she doesn't really understand what I'm saying. Just then I hear the sound of a car horn coming from the school gate. That might be your mom. I let my shoulder to Akiho to help her stand, and we slowly make our way toward the front gate. After entrusting Akiho to her mother, I drive home alone on my scooter. I stop uh, blah. I stopped bleh, no, read. I stopped by a neighborhood park on the way. The park is poorly lit, so it's pitch black. I really can't wait. The red aurora in the night sky stands out even more as a result. Till four years ago, it was possible to see Tanagashima Space Center, Center rocket launches from here in Uchagaoka Park. Uchagaoka Park. That's probably wrong anyways. Now all it has is a dog walking course. The park has the kanji for space in its name, but it isn't very cosmic. Half the stairs up to the viewing area have, area have rusted away. When I was in grade school, there was a do not use sign. The go-kart space and Mitane Cho local hall at the park have been abandoned for over 10 years. Even the new local hall they built is a short distance away has been closed, but that's exactly why. This is that, That's why this is my favorite spot, even now. At night, it's completely silent. Nobody comes here. Plus, it's close to my house, not even five minutes by scooter. Here, I can sink into the darkness with nobody around to bother me. Just me and some quality time with Kill Ballad. It's kind of mysterious. My nerves get sharper than usual, and I can focus better when I'm here. I come here when I want to get... <sighs> yeah, some serious play in, like when I'm pushing for the number one spot. Sometimes I chat with folks from Tokyo when I play. They rag on me for only winning because I play in quiet spots. In Tokyo, they still have these crazy places called arcades. I guess it's common to have crowds watch you play. Same with tournaments held overseas and stuff. 
a gallery of thousands of people sitting in a massive hall. Everything is so loud you can't he even hear the game. Players get up on stage and fight against their opponents who sit right next to them. I guess you're not a true fighting game player unless you can win in a situation like that. But as someone who barely ever leaves Tanagashima, what's that got to do with me? This is my play style, and to help me climb up to the spot of fifth best of fifth best in the world. I don't care what, if people hate on me or my strats. This stage helps me win. Anyway, time to get started. Or not. I get a call on my phone droid. Who the heck could it be? Jeez. Accept call. Kai! As soon as I answer, Akio's loud voice resounds. Are you feeling okay now? Oh yeah, I've settled down. I just got home. Thanks, Kai. But more importantly, we gotta talk about what you said earlier. Akio, you're too close to the camera, and you're being way too loud. You never guessed this was the same girl who had an attack earlier in the evening. You mean the whole me being the operator thing? Yeah, that. You had one condition, right? Correcto. You gotta change the control scheme to kill balance. Can you do it? No, I can't. But I think it's an amazing idea. Akio is crazy excited. I don't have a screenshot button. I was gonna take a screenshot of the of the the, the Akio grin. I've never even considered that as a possibility. Hobby Robot Control uses the fighting game combat system. It's genius. You could win the Nobel Prize! Let's not get carried away. I'm not! So if you were the one to use the K Blah. So if you were to use the KB combat system, that means you'd be using a phone droid as a controller. Exciting! Ah, if only we had a year to prepare. But we don't. Including today, we have three days left. Plus, we gotta leave the island for Tokyo on Friday evening, so tomorrow is our last real day for prep. We're at a complete deadlock. There's nothing we can possibly do. Aw oh, man. I finally got motivated in everything. I wouldn't call this motivated. It's just be a problem if you went and collapse again. Yeah, I know. I was just happy to hear you say it is all. I only wish you could have said it a week earlier. Anyways, I'll try and figure something out for tomorrow. And the day after. Good night. Yeah, good night. After I disconnect, I sigh to myself. Deep down, I kind of hoped she'd just give up. Like Aki-chan would ever do that. I've been iffy about the robot one thing from the get-go, because it's obvious the VP is just toying with us. Open message. What's this? text is all garbled. Considering it's just gibberish, I delete it. Start kill ballad. Time to get back on schedule. I boot up kill ballad. Even if we did make an appearance at Robo 1, there's no way we'd be able to win it with Misane's control scheme. It'd be humiliating to go to Tokyo, lose Go back to here. The VP's self-satisfied grin. <laughs> Plus, the only way we'd ever be able to implement the kill ballads control scheme would be to ask the game's creator. What? Speak of the devil. I get matched up with none other than Frau Kojiro. What's going on here? Talk about way too perfect timing. Hmm. Still remember the shitty way they accused me of being a cheater. That's water under the bridge. I've got nothing to lose. I know now that Frau Kojiro doesn't use Voicha. While that's a pain in the ass, I could still use the text chat. Ignoring the actual match, I type start bleh, I start typing on the touch screen. Evening. Thanks for messaging me the other day. Just so you know, I don't cheat. I have no idea who told you that was the case, but it's not true. By the way, I know this is sudden, but I have a request. Have you heard of Robo-1? I'm set to appear in the tournament this weekend. 
and I was think and so I was thinking of trying to use Kill Ballad's control scheme with the hobby robot I'm entering Robo One with. I know this is a ridiculous thing to request, but could you share the Kill Ballad source code with me? If it makes you easier to trust, I'll happily give you my identity. My name is Kaito Yashio. I live in Tanagashima. I'm a third year at Central Tanagashima High. Do you want my home address too? No reply, eh? Giving away the source code to some random high school kid would be the epitome of stupid. Goodbye money. I doubt anything will come of this. As expected, Frau Kojiro disconnects midway through the match without saying a word. Must have really put them off. I gaze up at the night sky. I feel like I could see way more stars back in the day. But the crimson stain on the north sky has made it difficult to spot stars these days. Tokyo's at a higher latitude than Tanagashima, right? I wonder what the aurora looks like over there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of Robotics Notes Elite like Animal Crossing. I will Oh, I just closed the game while it was saving, didn't I? Uh 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 <laughs> All right, everybody, let's see how my save data is looking. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. No, Chio. <laughs>